This is like. How many guitars do I have? Way too many for, for how, many, how long I've been collecting guitars. I have like 35 or 40 guitars, which is a lot of guitars for like only three, four years of collecting. <laughs> What's up GQ, I'm Sean Mendez and these are my essentials. In out of order, I have this Kevin Murphy hair paste that I use. This stuff is basically what I've been using since I had hair, basically. <laughs> I switch be between a couple. This is my favorite, because your hair gets used to paste after a while, uh, and then you have to switch it up, but this is the one that works the best for me and smells the best, I think. You know, gotta have the hair looking good for photos and moving on. Tom Ford sunglasses. This is the first time I've ever traveled with the case. I was very happy with myself today. <laughs> I always scratch them. And if you scratch these, it's just like, it's pointless to have them. These ones, I've been through too many. It's not cool, I keep losing them, but they're cool. <laughs> I just like how they fit. They're really nice quality sunglasses and it feels like you're looking through some like special lens, even though I'm sure they're no different than any other pair. I used to wear other sunglasses, but in the last couple of years, it's kind of been Tom Ford for me. I get super attached to like items, whether it's sunglasses or you know watch or shoes or something, and then it's it's really randomly I'll just switch my entire thing. Someone will be like wearing a pair of sunglasses, and I'll try them on, and then I'll be on that for like two years. I'm super strict about the the lens coloring. I hate it when it's like a dark lens. It has to be like the sepia lens to make the world look a little nicer. Yeah. <laughs> This is a Louis Vuitton wallet. It actually has my initials, if you can see. Oh, now you're gonna have to blur out all my credit card information. <laughs> the story of this is actually pretty cool. It was one of my best friend's weddings. I actually wrote uh, him and his wife's first dance song, and I performed it while they danced at the wedding, and then kind of as a present and a thank you, they got me this awesome wallet. So, it's pretty good luck for me. Do you have a lot of friends who they always kind of ask you to perform? Hey, Sean, can you sing something? My friends from home are pretty good. They, they would actually rather not hear me sing because they've heard me sing my entire life. But definitely, you know, with newer friends, there's a lot of, hey man, you wanna sing that song? You wanna pick up the guitar? But it's cool, I like to, it's fun. Now, I figured this would be kind of interesting to bring to you guys. So these are called Quinton Isotonics. Actually, Calvin Harris put me on these. I went to his studio and he had these in this, like, this glass bowl and he was like, Dude, try them, they're, they're really good for you. And basically what it is, is it's a placebo. <laughs> I'm trying to read what they're saying in the back. So, it's like a purified like seawater. It sounds so stupid. <laughs> it's like purified seawater and minerals in here that's supposed to keep you really healthy, but basically it's just fun because it's glass. You break one end. Drink it, and then you put it back. And then I drink like four a day. If I die, this is the reason. <laughs> Or if I live forever, this is also the reason. So if you wanna be a super placebo freak like me and think this is making you very healthy, go for it. Quinton Isotonic. The fan got me this leather bound book and this is a quite new thing that I've been doing. Just like at the end of the day, writing down you know, what I want in life and then also writing down what I'm grateful for. I think it's cool to kind of take time and and just spend some time thinking about those types of things. So it's definitely essential for me. Whether or not I'm writing it every day, it just feels good to be able to, when you want to, write down your thoughts. If I remember correctly, I got it in Europe, when I was in Europe, because I think I started doing this when I was in Germany. A fan got this for me, I wish I knew her name. Whoever you are, thank you. I use it. I figured bring in the jeans because I have about 10,000 pairs of black skinny jeans because it's what I wear on stage and it's what I wear 24 seven. These are just a pair of R13 jeans. The classic distressed look. Goes with everything, man. It's what you need. How many pairs of these do you have? Of these ones? Like 80 pairs of black pants. <laughs> I know there's some people who like don't wash jeans at all, but I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do. I have no idea really. I feel it makes you, it just looks saggy. If you want to keep these skinny, you got to wash them. I have this ring. I got this in Japan. It's from a store called Sympathy of Soul. I was trying to find something that was very special. I get very attached to jewelry. I think that it, it holds a lot of you know lucky value, and I can't take it off now. I think that it's all my luck. It's a leaf. It's two leaves. It's almost like a feather. From that. Oh, I, you know what? It is a feather. It's, it's a feather? <laughs> take it back. It's two feathers. <laughs> 
This is one of my absolute favorite items, and I'm very proud and very happy that I have it. This is my AP. It's like my first real kind of watch collector's watch. I wear it pretty much every day now. I'm obsessed with it. I wasn't a watch guy for a long time until I met John Mayer, and uh, he's definitely, he's probably the, the most watch guy I've ever met, and he actually was the one who told me to get this guy, so yeah. I started collecting watches about a year ago, and uh, I'm definitely really into them. They look awesome. I wear boots for like a year until they're like really, really messed up and then I switch them. I think these are Saint Laurent. I'm pretty specific with my boots. I'm never really wearing running shoes outside of going to the gym. So the boots gotta be comfortable and they gotta look nice. And I really like these ones. I actually just scratched them yesterday. I'm not happy about that. This case has been through basically all the tours with me. You can tell because of all of the fragile stickers from all of the airports. I used to try sneaking them onto the planes, but they're really big and people get frustrated. So yeah, I check them. This case is a great case though. I, I tour with this case everywhere I go. I got this little thing here that has all my info on it so I can't lose it. Classic guitar case. <laughs> Martin. I got this actually at a guitar center in Hollywood, believe it or not. I just love it because it's very easy to play. If I don't have a guitar on me, I would go insane because if I have an idea and I can't get it down, I feel like I'm, I'm losing my best idea. So I kind of just decided like, bring it everywhere you go. Probably a little out of tune right now. But yeah, I'm obsessed with it. Actually, my favorite thing about this guitar is how dead it is, which for recording an album is kind of perfect. I got this like the week before I started writing the album, so it was kind of fate a little bit for me. I find it as a very calming thing to do, especially like when I'm on social media for a really long time and I'm like, what am I doing right now? I just pick up the guitar and it's keeping me entertained for hours. <laughs>